friends welcome back again so happy you popped over again to see what i am up to today for everyone who is new here welcome my name is yanni and i hope you enjoy what you see and if you do i hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you for everyone here who is not subscribed to my channel of course i hope you will click the red subscribe button give me a thumbs up and of course hit the bell so you will be notified every time i upload new diys like i always say enough talking and let's jump in today's inspiration and here you see already on my table other things we need of course the tumbling towel blocks i use the smaller blocks some paint at your choice of course an old uh, saucer with a piece of old kitchen towel which is wet to wipe away the glue of course my little container i have everything inside my brushes my scissors uh, my mud pot some twine some uh, canvases and of course the wood glue you can use some hot glue but especially this one i would not recommend it because the chance is that it falls apart and that's not what you want and of course for this DIY we need two prints uh, two silhouettes of a barn and barn you call it a barn we call it a schuur it's a much different word it's really a much different word barn and we call it schuur so I hope you to look it up and try to pronounce it also because it's so much different. So I'm going to use two pieces, one of the bigger one and the smaller one, but make sure that you only, if you get the silhouette from the, from the Google, just make sure that you don't change the, uh, the, um, the height because the height is still stays the same you only place this you print this one out and then you pull the other one a little bit further at your choice so it's very easy to do one bigger one and the one smaller one and this is what we're going to use for this DIY so the first step will be we are going to cut out our uh, barn because we want to uh, measure out with our blocks how many we need to uh, fill in the planks because we're going to make two planks which are our barn uh, can fit off and we can cut it out so we are going to first going to cut off our barn but of course don't worry I will not do the whole barn together with you, so this will go a little bit faster. So we have our two barn silhouettes and of course if you are a great uh, someone who can draw very nicely then you can easily just get your ruler and your pencil and just make it your own then you don't even need a silhouette because but i'm not a great uh, drawer so i'm going to use uh, this one so what we're going to do i'm going to first take the smaller one and you do very easy you look how many blocks there are going on your silhouette because this one will be different for a lot of you of course i'm going to place them on here and i do it always a little wider than i need to because i want to get it a little bit outside so i think this is more than enough so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 blocks so i need for the smaller one 13 blocks and then i'm going to look for because i'm going to place it a little out and then i'm going to place them on top and i'm going to do number three and number four and i go for five so i need five rows of 13 blocks so i'm going to make the first because they need to dry so very easy we're going to place our 13 blocks of five and you also can do what you also can do is uh, uh pieces of a three but i will go for big rows three uh four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so very easy get your wood glue and place them on the side if i can uh, recommend one thing i wouldn't make it too big because or else it is already very difficult to place it in your home because if you go bigger and bigger and bigger then you get a real big barn uh, i wouldn't do that because i uh, yeah we have limited spaces over here in the netherlands maybe a lot of you have bigger homes and bigger places where you can place it but we don't have them over here at least not many people have such a big homes netherlands is always a little small country and it's not for a lot of space of big houses i can better say that so of course we have a beautiful house we are looking for still looking for a new house but for this house it's a nice house 
but it's not as big as some people have but we are really happy with it but of course sometimes you need something new because the children are already old and we like to maybe change up a little so we have already 13 blocks uh, on a row we're going to get our towel wipe away the glue and again over here and we're going to make a straight line if you have your metal hook it's also fine then you place it in your metal hook and just uh, make a straight line i uh, have one but i don't use it so i do it always with my um with my hands so i'm going to make five rows of it So you see here I have my five rows of my of 13 blocks and I'm going to do some glue on the side. I've run over here already, place it carefully down. It doesn't matter if it breaks because you still can redo it. And we're going to go for number three, do some glue on the side of at least the tops of the sides of your row. Place it down and you're going to make sure that everything fits nicely together it doesn't have to fit totally because these pieces are falling apart because you will use some saw to saw it out and of course another one and we could place number four over here and the last number five and then we're going to give it at least a couple of hours best would be if you do both of the planks and leave them overnight before you're going to saw them so that's always the best to do so again we're going to wipe away if there is glue coming out and we're going to place this aside and we're going to let this rest and we're going to make a bar number two so i placed my plank uh, apart but i was laying my smaller house on top of here and if you are don't like to use too many blocks you want to be um uh how you call it we call it here in the net it's zuinig but i don't know how you call it in english at least if you uh are n don't want to use too many blocks if you are my size of house then you see already he would also fit on four rows of 13. So if you make it small, a little bit smaller, then you can place one row apart and then you can even use four rows of 13 and then you also are fit to go because you see already this one is exactly fitting in, in four rows. So you can also play easy, take one off like this and you have four rows and then you can sort it out also. So do whatever, if you want to have a little bit more space, then you can go for five rows or 13 but if you have the same size of house like i have then i would go for four rows but choose anything you like i did get my ruler and this is a ruler also have inches so i uh, maybe for everyone who wants to know the underside of my house is seven and a half inches and they in the from bottom to top he is i have to look for eight inches so the underside is seven and a half and the middle middle from top to uh, to bottom is eight inches so if you want to know uh, then you have also the size of the house and then if you do it yourself you can easily go uh, sides of course for everyone who uses also uh, centimeters it is 90 centimeters for the bottom and for the top to bottom it is um i think 20 and a half centimeters so everyone has now their measurements of course for someone who this is taking a little bit too long i'm sorry but i always explain everything in my diy so for everyone who wants to know so i'm going to go for four rows of uh, 13 blocks and i'm going to place it aside and see already i have here now my bigger barn what i'm going to do and i have one row left over from the other one what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you also the numbers if you use centimeters. It is uh, 24 and a half uh, on the bottom. In the middle it will be 
20 uh, point, no, 21, 21 centimeters. So, and for everyone who uses inches, the bottom is of the underside is in inches. It is a 9.7, 9.7, and the from top to bottom it is eight inches so if you use centimeter or inches now you have the measurement you need oop, <laughs> you need for making it of course we are going to use this row this way so now he's totally fitting inside and we're just going to look how many blocks we need to fill the whole barn inside and i see already we only need five rows of 13 blocks so very easy we already have one we only need to make four blocks of 13 extra and then we also have our barn for the bigger one so it's easy we already have four seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so thirteen blocks and we go do this four times you see already i have everything laid out on my table our fifth blocks is over here because we uh, it was a leftover from the other one because we needed four there and we need five here so we do the same like we did with the other house we just glue them together very easy just go in between and just do some glue on the side and immediately glue them together so the glue is not running out if you have questions about uh, this barn i think it's very easy to make because everyone can make it their own way and the measurements they use but for everyone who likes to you have the measurements but if you have questions just leave a comment down below i would love to answer if you have any questions we're going to squeeze it make a nice straight line again and we're going to wipe away the glue and so we go for all four rows but i do it a little faster you see already i have my five rows of 13 i'm going to do again the same like we did with the smaller house we do some glue on the side we're going to place it down this way make sure that everything fits nicely together and we go do number row number three some glue and we're going to place this one also down over here press it together and row number four and we are almost there and then we have our two uh, base pieces we need to make our barn and we squeeze it and we do the last and this way and we're going to place this one also down and make a nice plank and we try to work with it so everything is fitting nicely and try to because everything is not dry so you can still redo it and fill up the open gaps you have over here just give it a little bit of pressure where you need because you still can redo it everything has to fit nicely so and now we already have this one and if everything is correctly we can place this barn on top of here and you see already now he's fitting on top of here like this so we are going to let this dry in in the meantime while our two planks are drying for the base of the barn we are going to get five blocks because we're going to make the middle piece we have already five blocks what we're going to do we do some glue on the side on this one place them together number three and number four and number five is the closure up squeeze it and we're going to get another one of five and we do the same just do some glue on the side and this is already in number four number five is the closure up we are going to make five pieces of five and you see already i have my five pieces of five what we're going to do we're going to make one piece out of it but before you glue it just lay them dry together to look for if you have not too much open gaps so you can still turn some one around i think this is fitting better so do some glue on the side and do on this one and place them together this way we do here also some glue place them together and the last number four and we're going to row them in one piece so you get a nice bottom for our barns and 
we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need. Fill everything, squeeze it, and we're going to place this aside and we wipe away the glue. What we're going to do, we are going to now take three blocks, like this, very easy. Just do some glue on the side and on this side, and then we're going to place them together, squeeze it until one piece, and we do here also the same. And number two, and number three is the closure up again. We do this again, three blocks. This is one, and number two, and again, squeeze it. And the last of three, we do on the longer side. And we're going to place this one also together, squeeze it, wipe away the glue you don't need. Of course, it's a little bit difficult when it is three blocks. And then redo it again. Make sure that you have a straight line. And you see already, I have to redo this one. And this one is not totally straight. So I'm going to give this uh, at least a couple of hours rest. But of course, before we're going to give this a couple of hours, and of course this two, we are going to glue them together. You see already, I'm going to turn them. Maybe I'll let this is better. And we're going to glue these two together also. And we're going to do some on the side. Place it down. And this one also. On the side and place it together. And now we're going to give, because we're going to work with it, it's the bottom and the sides for our, yeah, kind of. You can use it for an organizer, planter. You can use the barn later for everything. So, but this will be the... In between, you see already everything is dried. We have here our two bases for our farm a silhouette, and of course, we have a bottom and we have two of the sides. So, if you have these pieces, then you are still with me and you still are ready to make your barn. I'm going to place this one aside. I'm going to get the smaller size of the uh, barn, and I'm going to also use the frame of the smaller size. Of course, I'm going to look for which side is the uh, evens, and this one is the evens to glue later. So I'm going to place this on top of here. And of course, I keep it in place. I'm going to get my... I have to go down a little. And you see already, now I'm going to go with my pencil, and I'm going to make my way around the barn but of course i won't bore you with that you see in a moment how it's uh, looking on top of here so and here you see how the small barn is already uh, looking like so i'm going to saw this out with my jigsaw and i'm going to first before i'm going to do that i'm going to take the bigger one and of course the bigger farm and i'm going to look for the underside this one is uh, uh, the nicest so i'm going to place this one over here and make sure that i have it in between the lines and I'm going to go work my way also around this house but of course like I told you earlier if you can easy do it with some ruler and pencil go ahead because I admire you because I, I am not a great uh, drawer so uh, I hope let me know if you can uh, do it yourself without the silhouette I always need a silhouette it's terrible I know <laughs> I'm going to uh, uh, make the lines and of course I'm going to get uh, to my garage and I'm going to uh, saw it out. So and here you see how both of the little silhouettes turned out and I'm really a bit happy with the result because it was a little bit difficult because some blocks are easy to uh, saw but some blocks you really my jigsaw already <laughs> was smoking so... <laughs> It was a really hard task uh, to go uh, to come uh, through some kind of blocks, but I'm really happy with both of them. What I'm going to do, I'm only take the front side, so the smaller one, because the bigger one is only for a back side, for, for the shape. The front side we are going to decorate with some blocks. So I'm going to lay this apart because I use tumbling towel blocks and I always try to make everything from the tumbling towel blocks. Of course, I have other blocks, smaller blocks, uh, uh, bigger blocks to make a roof, make a, a barn door, everything. But I am try always to make everything from the smaller blocks so everyone can make it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to start with four pieces of two, just glued on the tops. 
like this and I'm going to glue them together just do some glue on the tops place them this way we're going to do here also some glue place them against each other and here number three and number four and we're going to squeeze them and this one also and we have to look for because this is not really a straight line i don't know which block it is but it is not fitting very nicely but we're going to work with it because we don't throw away any blocks because that's always a waste of money so we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes now i have my frame i have the one of the two blocks i'm going to do some glue on the underside and i'm going to glue it in the middle of the point that's over here because this is block number here is six free and no more normally was there six but this is the middle block and i'm going to do it on the side so i'm going to show that i have the middle over here and i'm going to place it i will show it to you in a moment a little bit better i have to look on this side because you see already i'm not totally on the on the side so i'm going to do on the other block a little glue a little line and i'm going to do some glue on this side because we're going to place it against here we have to look for that we have it in a straight line and we do it over here we're going to place and we do some glue on this side because this one will be attached to this one again place them and make sure that you have them fitting nicely together and this we have to go a little down feel with your fingers that everything on the top is straight and then you're going to look for the side if you have the side of course straight and this is what you get right now you see i hope i can show it to you this way if i turn it over like this and now we're going to let this dry in and then we're going to use the fourth one is some glue coming out so i have a brush and I'm easily going lightly around where is glue and I'm going to wipe it away to make sure that there are not big pieces of glue sticking out because later with painting, especially when you are going to wax it, if you are going to wax it and give it a brown color, then sand it first because or else you get uh, spots from your uh, wood glue. So wood glue is a great uh, thing to glue but uh, it gives some spots so if you want to wax it or something else just do some uh, sanding over it so i'm going to give this like i said some rest but in the meantime while this is resting i want to place this one in the middle but you see already i have it a little bit too long so i get my pencil and i'm going to go on this side and a little on this side and I'm going to make the line and I'm going to saw out a little piece of this block. You see, I only need a little piece off. So you see, I just did cut off a little piece. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this standing up. I'm going to do this on the back side and I'm just going to do it flat in the middle. So again, we're going to place this one in the middle. And we're going to give it a little bit of pressure so everything is sticking nicely together and this way what we're going to do i am going to get some um, pins i think you call them skewer if i am correctly we call them saté prickers so i hope i say it right what i'm going to do i'm going to take the back side the flat side because this is a point and i'm going to do the flat side and i'm going to place it in and i'm just going to measure out where i will need to cut it i need to cut it over here i just get some little bit of an, my pencil and i'm going to measure it out and i'm going to take four pieces because i need one this way one this way and one this way so i think i'm going for four so i have to measure out four and then i will see if i use them or not so i'm going to make sure that i have four of them I have the size i need you see already i have here the size and i'm going to cut all four of them in one time so i have my four pieces i'm just going to do some glue on the ending on each 
little piece. So I'm going to do some glue over here and I'm going to place it sideways from one corner to the other one. So like this. And I'm going to make sure that everything sticks in place. I take my time for it, so but you can decorate it any way you like. If you like another uh, way better, it's also fine to do whatever you think it's right. I'm going to go for this one. I think this one needs a little bit shortening because this is a little bit too high. So I'm going to do a little glue on the side and on this side. And later we're going to work the glue away with our brush. But I'm going to place this in this corner. And of course, over here on the floor. And we're going to wipe away later the glue we don't need. But first we're going to let this dry in. And then we do it sideways from the other side to the other side. And now we have for me kind of a farm door like this. And how simple is this to make? Uh, I'm going to place this aside. I'm going to get two blocks. And I'm going to glue the sides together because I want to have a little name on the top of our barn. So I'm going to give, make a kind of a tag. So I'm going to do two blocks together, wipe it, oh, the glue away, and I'm going to place this over here, I think in the kind of here. So I'm going to do some glue. I know it's still not dry, if you, but if you do careful, you can easily place it already on your front of your barn and again over here but you can write on it anything you like you can make it even bigger you can make it smaller you don't have to do it this is something i like so this is already my front i keep my barn very simple of course what we can do we can give it a roof you don't have to do it but you can do but it's very easy i'm also keeping this very easy so you can easily go to this so you make two pieces of two again glue them over here and then you can go down and make it over here two of them also and then you're going to cut one of the pieces off so i'm going to look for if i like it so i'm going first i'm going to make two pieces of two so and then i'm going to look for if i like it or not so that's the most of the time what I do, but this time, of course, if I DIY, I'm going to do it together with you. And you can choose anything you like, because if you see something you don't like, change it up for the way you really like it, because everyone has their own taste. So you don't have to like what I like. And that's always I try to um, give just a little bit of inspiration and you can use your own imagination the way you want to have it that's why i always keep it very simple and then you can uh, go all the way and change it up any way you like so i'm going to give this a couple of minutes rest so i have waited a couple of minutes for my two pieces of course i measure out uh, what i want to do if you can do this way you can place them together and do a little piece of dowel on the top or maybe a skewer on the top and i'm going to cut off a little piece i'm going to get my marker and i'm going to cut off this piece on this side and this side and then i'm going to decide if i like it or not and now we have our two longer pieces and the two smaller one but we're not going to glue them on top because uh, i don't i'm not sure if i like it so first i'm going to paint the rest and this one will be in the black shoe polish so and then i'm going to look for if i like it on the top or maybe I like it without. But if I do, of course, I also need it to do it on the uh, side you are looking at from, uh, because the smaller one will be in front of this one, because you will place this one and this one over here. This one, the bottom will be over here. So, and then you have to look for if you like it also on this one. Of course, I still need to redust we do, we do my thing. It needs a little bit of sanding because it's not totally straight yet. But if I do the other one, the smaller one, I also need to do this one. But then you already get this, so you're not um, coming even with this one. You can do it this way, but I don't know if I like it or not. Maybe I leave it just very simple, just without the roof. But I'm still debating. So what I decided, of course, the same like I did with this one, I am going to make four pieces of two again. I'm going to cut off also a little piece of this one over here. So I already make my mark 
that I want to have from this two also a piece off and this one. And then I'm going to decide later, I'm going to make them black. And then I'm going to decide later together with you if I like it on top or not. So now we have everything glued together. And of course, it should have been better if we already would do the roof on top before we're going to glue it together. But I'm changing uh, it up because I'm going to do it later. I don't know if I regret it. We will see that. But <laughs> for now, we are going to place the bottom, the bigger side, under here. So that means we're going to place it down and we're going to do some glue on the underside. I have to think about it. Yeah, on the underside of my barn, the bigger one, over here. I'm going to place it down and I'm going to place it over here and make sure that we have on each side enough room over. You see, if you feel with your fingers, you feel the And then we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest. So we gave it a couple of minutes. Now we're getting one of the blocks like this one, the six pack. We are going to glue some glue on the underside over here and on the side over here. And we're going to place it on the inside of this uh, um, row, uh, row blocks. So this way I'm going to place it on the inside. And I'm going to give it a little squeeze and then place it to the bottom. We're going to do here the same. We're going to glue some on the side and on the bottom. Again, we're going to place them on the inside of this line. And again, squeeze it a little down and then the bottom. And we're going to press also the bottom and this together. And then we're going to give it also a couple of minutes. And now we need the last piece and that will be the sides. Do some glue over here. Do some glue on this one. And now we're doing some glue on the underside of the smallest piece of our barn. And it is very easy to get it in the middle because this one is in the middle. And you take five blocks and you again the middle. So this middle and this middle needs to be together. And then everything has to be on the side you want to have it. So if everything is correctly, then it must fit. <laughs> and or else I did miss <laughs> mismatch. So I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure. And of course some pressure over here. And I'm going to let this dry in for at least a couple of hours. So as you see already, I have a paint can on top of here to give it a little bit more pressure. Now I'm going to place this one aside so it can dry. I'm going to take a piece of kitchen towel. I'm going to place my four pieces I need for the smaller uh, barn roof. So I'm going to do this in some black uh, shoe polish so that's uh, the greatest about this is that you still can see the wood coming through and I really like that that is not totally covering so I am really loving the shoe polish so I'm going to do all the pieces for the smaller barn and of course for the bigger barn I'm going to lay them aside and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to use them or not so we have already the pieces of the roof uh, the roof the <laughs> the roof of black <laughs> all English and we are going to place this one straight up and now we're going to give this a creamy color I'm at least I'm going to give the creamy color if you like maybe a bright a red, a white better or maybe a red barn it's also fine too I'm going to go for the creamy color I will paint this and you will see how much he will change if you only give it a little bit of paint uh, it doesn't matter what kind of paint, but it already changed up so much. So I'm going to take my time for it and I'm going to paint this one. And then we're going to look if we like the roof pieces or not. So you see already the barn is also painted and you see we still don't have something for on top. I did go to my computer and I made a little tag in the word barn. So I did it in different sizes. Maybe I can use a layer for something else. So I'm going to Mod Podge this on top of here. So I'm using this brand of Mod Podge. A lot of you already know, of course, I only do a little bit 
Oh, you see already, my my, my brush is totally into the <laughs> into the mud parts. So I only need a little bit, but don't do it the way I do it because it's much too <laughs> much uh, mud parts. So I'm going to glue it on top. And of course, I know you don't see it right now, but I will show it to you in a moment. So I'm going to work with it and let it dry in. See, this is how the barn is looking like so far. Now I'm going to lay it on his back and I'm going to look for if I like the roof or not. Or maybe I will keep it this way. So you see, I laid it down, just not glued yet. I just laid it down and I think I am liking the way it is with the roof. So I'm going to glue the pieces on top of here on the first on the back side and then on this side. So... Uh, of course, you can decide for yourself if you like it or not. So, but I'm going to uh, glue it uh, on top of here. Of course, I use also wood glue. And then, of course, our barn is already finished if we have the roof on top. So, in a moment, you see the quick impression. And here you see, finally, a quick impression of my Tom and Tower Blocks farmhouse barn. And I'm so happy how it turned out. Of course, I just did some simple box wood in the planter in between because this is my everyday decor. But you can change it up for every season. Do some Christmas branches because we are a little bit of a Christmas channel. Do some Christmas branches inside of maybe some fall leaves inside. You can change it up for all year round. Of course, I hope you took out your Tumblr Tower Blocks too and did this DIY together with me. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoy what you saw. And of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and of course, click the bell so you will be notified every time I upload new DIYs. For everyone who is here only for watching, I hope you had fun watching this time also. Do you want to see more DIYs? Come on over to my description box. There you find the link for our DIY channels. Hope to see you there and everyone have an amazing day. See you in the next one. Bye.